Hello and welcome. Okay, so we have some ancho chiles and we have California chiles. If you guys want a spicy chorizo, you need pasilla negro, which is really spicy. I'm not going to be using it because this is my kids love chorizo. And if it's too spicy, it's not going to be fun for them. So what you're going to do is you're going to take out um, the seeds of, of your chiles, okay? Shake that little maraca. That little rattlesnake. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, we're still on that one, guys. Mm -hmm. A few seeds won't hurt you, but if you put too many, it'll turn your um, food bitter, so be careful. Hear ye, hear ye. Yeah, you guys already know I'm in, by the stove, I'm in the zone. Mm -hmm. So, one of the things you can do with these is that you can just do the same thing for them. Because these the seeds of uh, of the ancho chile come off real easy. I'm gonna keep one because I'm gonna show you how wonderful it is when you um when they they get really hot and they puff up. Let me see if I can get started over here. Okay. While I'm doing this, you can probably show them. Mm -hmm. Oh, one puffs up over there. You don't have to be too perfect here, guys. Just enjoy your time in the kitchen. I know that a lot of you ladies message me that I inspired you to get back in the kitchen, and I'm, that makes me so happy because the kitchen is my happy place. And some gentlemen. And gentle, yeah, and some gentlemen. Remember, when I say that, guys, if you're hearing me, gentlemen, don't don't get offended. I, I know you're there. It's just that the majority of the people on my channel are ladies. So if you don't say that you're here, I'm present for roll call, then I don't know you're there. I know at least of three, so that's why I stepped up. Shout out there. to our boy Tim that shows up every day. Hi, Tim. Thank you for joining us. We have a lot of gentlemen that joined us for our um, for our other channel. Thank you guys so much. If you guys don't like curse words or the other side of me, then definitely don't go. But if you guys are interested to get to know me as a human on a different level, definitely join me there. And if you're a fragile person, it might not be for you. Well, no, I would say that, yeah, you would benefit from the talks on that channel. If you're trying to build some strength, yeah, come follow us. You guys want to meet my sister? She's come out on the channel. Oh, you had to throw that in there. <laughs> yeah, right? I had to throw that in there. People are oh, curious boy. what you look like. They want to see what you look like. They can go to our channel. The link will be in the description and at the end of the videos for you guys to just click. You see a picture of two young ladies on there, like little kids. That's me and Claude when we were younger. Click on it and it's going to take you to our other channel. Where we have a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Seriously, we can talk for hours. I, I mean, the videos are at least an hour long. We can keep going for six hours. Hey, we grew up in the era of no iPads. Our poor mother. I remember she used to be like, Cállense! Como hablan, como platican. Excuse me. I was eating those peanuts, the peanuts japoneses. I got a few of those and those are so good. Yeah. So it's just a couple of seeds, right? Mm -hmm. you? Yeah, they'll come off once I'm toasting them. Mm. Ooh, that's a mm -hmm, spicy one. <coughs> <clears throat> These conditions are becoming hazardous for me. Really? With all the chili? <laughs> and you're, the you're, coffee? you're a strong girl. Let me turn on. <laughs> Let me turn up the heat for this and then we'll see you guys in a minute when we're pouring it in and this pot is really hot. Uh, the 
The cheetahs, all these little ones, are like having cheetah flakes. Oh, so we nice. need them, yeah. Okay. And if these were uh, dried naturally, you guys can um, replant them. I need to get some of those uh, New Mexico riscas. Mm -hmm. I'm have to do a road trip over there, girl. Let's do it. I love New Mexico. I want to go to Santa Fe during winter. I know why you want to go to Santa Fe. Why? That hotel that's there. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's a dream. I'll have to share. I don't remember what it's called, but I remember what it looks like, and it, I belong there. <laughs> oh, wait till you guys see it. <laughs> yeah. What's supposed to happen right now? Um, I'll leave it on the side so when it starts puffing up. Okay. Am on your way? No, no, you're a good girl. Okay. See, I am Mexican. I can touch it with my hands. Le doy vuelta. I turn it. She can't even do patty cake on that thing. Yeah, yeah. But I don't want to. <laughs> I want to keep myself safe for you guys so I can hang out every day. Okay. Someone said you're not from the rancho if you don't know how to do that with your hand. It's kind of rude. Huh? Well, I might not be at the rancho, but I can kick it with those ladies and they would appreciate me more than half the people judging me. Half the people that judge me just watch their families cook. They really don't cook themselves. So they're just telling me what their parents tell them, but they don't they don't cook. You're so, not trying to replace anyone's mama either. I am not, honey. We love moms. Oh, it's soft, soft, soft. Yes. Captain, move back. This is too hot for me. Okay, let me turn it down a bit. Mm-hmm. That's, de that's the second time you can't handle this heat, girl. What are we going to do? Try to get out of this kitchen. Well, turns out it was smoking because a little penne pasta got stuck at the bottom and I didn't realize it. So now I have a roasted penne pasta. Yeah, I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm, that, I'm that cook that always has something that falls into there. Okay, so while this is going to be at the side so it can puff, puff up so you guys can see, you can take the seeds when it's done because it's a lot softer. You can cut it with a knife down the middle. I'll show you guys right now how you get the seeds out of that one. But you can do it that way or you can do it how I did it. Cascabeles! Oh my god. This is one of those things where... When you guys make this and you smell this, I want you guys to come back and tell me, Steph, that smell was divine. It really is. So if you guys are going to make this, uh, if you're going to make this for the kids, um, use the California chile because that one's not as spicy for them. It has a subtle one, but you can balance that one out for them. Especially when you're adding your chorizo, if you decide to make your chorizo with potato or whatever you're adding to it. So what you're going to do here, you're just going to toast it depending on how hot your pan is. Uh, you're going to toast it for about 3-4 minutes. You don't want this to get burned at all. You just want them to soften up with the heat that you are uh, that you have it on. Okay? In Spanish we say tatemar. How do you translate that, Cloud? Roasting. Roasting? Mm -hmm. It's a quick little roast. And you'll see they'll change color quick once you get that smell going. It goes pretty fast. I'm turning them on low just so I can show you guys how I cut this one. You guys know I like this knife. Don't play. What is it? Machete? It's a machete. So just slice it down the middle like this. See? It's a lot softer. It opens up and you can get it all out. So it's going to be up to you what route you guys want to take. You guys want to show off for your family toast them and then slice them and then get the little rattlers out. I guess I'm feeling country today. I said rattlers. <laughs> and no, I'm not making fun of anybody's accent. I just, I like she accents. Woody. Yes, and Woody. Okay. And I don't know. I think they're stuck together too much. They didn't fluff mm -hmm. up for you guys, but they usually do. So now when you're done toasting, you want to take them out of your pan. They softened and then they crisped up a little bit, and now we're ready to go. Oh, this one has way too many in there to mix like that. Look at that. Well, it's gonna sneaky. I don't think so. Not happening, guys. Time. <laughs> yeah. Careful because they they're a little bit hot. All right, so let me show you guys our next step. I need something. Mm -hmm.
This is the soy meat I'm going to be using. It's carne de soya. I find this at my local market. Cloud's going to be doing the work for you guys and put all the information in the description area along with the recipe in detail. Okay, looks a little bit like that. You can use soy curls for this. Maybe crumble the soy curls a little bit more. But this whole bag was less than $4 at my grocery store. So go to your Mexican market, guys, if you have one. Because it's going to be great. And we have a lot of recipes with this specifically. Yeah, we do. I have the chicharrones that you don't miss out if you're not eating uh, uh, meat. It'll work out for you guys. So let's get ready. I already showed you guys how to roast. And one of the things you're going to find with this, uh, the seasoning recipe, is it's going to be good for your, for your pork. Whether you want to make this out of ground beef, ground chicken. Um, but if you're going to make it out of ground chicken, I wouldn't recommend like keeping it overnight or anything. Just make that portion for that particular day because you guys know chicken's very uh, disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to say stinky? It just gets gross. I mean, I don't want you guys getting sick. So if you're going to be using it for turkey or chicken, make it that same day. Um, pork, uh, you can keep it in your refrigerator for a while. So. Hold on, one second. Okay. So just crumble these as much as you can. Mm. Mm. You guys wanted me to get spicy. You missed me in the kitchen. Well, here we are. Wow, I'm talking like a baby now. <laughs> it's because I was listening. Mean, that's what I said. It's because when I listened to the. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Row two of <laughs> killing her sister. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let us know if you know where that's from. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, it's because I listened to the sweet little views club junior and she's uh and she was like, say mom, we made Micah. And I was like, ah she's so adorable. Isn't she the sweetest? I love her. I love babies. So we're gonna be doing this and I'm gonna be coughing in and out. So enjoy the music while I blend this for for us. Actually, um, if you have ground cumin, go for it. I'm gonna be adding one peppercorn because it's your salt, pepper, things like that to taste. So I'm gonna blend my cumin and my bay leaf in here together, okay? Look at my hands. They're beautiful. Yes. Your hands look like that so mine don't have to look like that. That's right, so your hands don't have to look like that. And if your mom's hands look like that, have some respect and get her a nice manicure moisturizer. Come on! That's right. Or you can use Cloud's new scrub. It's pretty affordable and wonderful. Nice that's how. That's how I got this glow, you guys. <laughs> God didn't give you those maracas if he didn't want you to shake them. And that's the thing, you want to make sure that you're toasting this really good and breaking them apart in here really well so that they can pulverize, okay? And I'm talking about like a good... Just don't put your fingers in there. Hmm? Why? Oh yeah, don't put your fingers turned, in you guys. It's plugged in. Oh, let me finish crumbling all these. Do you remember when they were going to shut down the sriracha factory because the um, residents were complaining on how the air quality was just too wild for them to handle? I don't remember that, but can we move them <laughs> as a family? No, girl. How about Hershey? I want to smell chocolate outside. Ooh. That smells amazing. You know which one my favorite um, chocolate artificial smell is? What? <coughs> mm. Mm. Um. <coughs> The remember those Avon chapsticks? Oh gosh, yes, do I remember? Girl, I used to love them because they smelled so good. We were so hooked on Avon. Yeah. Like that was our special treat from our mom for yeah. our makeup and things that we were allowed to wear. So chapstick and clear mascara. Girl, it's because like you can order and then pay when it got there. Mm -hmm. So it was like advanced shopping. Okay. <laughs> there was another time. Yeah, you had clothes. You can have like jewelry, makeup. Chapstick chocolate. That Avon oil was the best. You know what? It is the best. It kept my skin so good in the desert always. Wait, is Avon still around? Yes, girl. Okay. Anyway, I'll let you get back to business. Okay, <laughs> let's let's blend, guys. Mm. 
The thing is that you guys can do this um, and you guys can pre-make all this seasoning one day. Just have like a big jar like this mm -hmm. full of it and that way when you have to do your portions you can just do it quickly. You don't have to be like that's a lot of work every time. It, it's, it's not like you have to plan ahead. Okay? You do blend a lot of chilies ahead of time. Yeah, I do. Like my jars of the chile from the chiladas. It's in those jars. I want to know what baby word your guys' kids or that you used to say when you were little if you don't have children or that you've heard that just smells you because in my head all I can hear is mica right now, okay? That's all I hear. I want a mica. We make mica too. Ah! <laughs> I think if you're just starting out grinding chilies, um, you can put gloves on. You know what? I'm all for you guys using gloves. I am. Call me hood. I get my hands in there, okay? <laughs> I'm sorry. I want my hands in there. There's things I can't handle, like with my hands or anything, but I, I deal with it because I like putting my love, my... There's oils from your hands that really flavor your food and you're connecting with it even more. So use gloves if you can't handle it. You're still going to love it, but for me, I'm, I'm good like this. I always mentally plan for like the worst possible scenario of survivals. You know how I have the whole family like shook? Oh, you mean the drills that we have to do? Yes, I make the whole family do drills and Robert's like, really babe? And he's like so, <laughs> he's already tactical. He knows all these things, but I put panic in my family and I prep them, okay? We're yeah. not preppers, but I prep them. <laughs> I don't panic after knowing you all my entire life. You're like, this is what we're doing today? Yes. <laughs> It's an adventure. Yeah. Cool, a drill. Yeah. Sure. Let's do it. Okay. So once you've done that. Oh, can you show us the color of the chili? Oh, yeah. I would love to. What it looks like. Yeah, let me bring it up in here so I can pour it in. Okay. Can, can you see, see it there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gives it that nice uh, uh, dark color. And one of the things you guys are going to find is that if you use more of the California Guajillo Chile, you're going to get more of that red color that you're used to. This one's going to give it a very profound color. So now we have all our chile blended. I'm going to go ahead and add our garlic, onion powder. These were both powders. Uh, my bouillon, paprika. Do you guys have smoked paprika, paprika, whatever you have, go ahead and do that. Watch out if you're using Hungarian paprika because you guys already know. It's wild. Um, the Mexican oregano, and if you only have Italian, make it comfortable for your home. But if you get a hold of this oregano, go for it. It's amazing. And before I start with my concoction here, let me talk to you guys for a minute about some stuff. You can use whatever seasoning, because if you're gonna, if you're vegan and you're trying to keep this uh, meatless, then use this for your seasoning. It's better than uh, than bouillon. It's a no, no chicken base. We also have the one that is chicken. When I tell you guys I love the kitchen and cooking a variety of foods, I do. That's why I have these. I have my non-MSG bouillon, my MSG bouillon, and if you guys are down south or somewhere we can't get any of these things, you can use this for your seasoning for your soy resol. Make it comfortable for your home and the things that you like, okay? And if you want, you can use this sazon. It has that little pork flavor. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Póngale sazon. And for my Asian squad, use some of this. You guys can do it. Anybody can do this, okay? I feel like Ratatouille, where they believe anybody can cook, I really do believe that. I know you do. Because there's been times that I say, I can't make that. You're like, yes, you can. Let's do it. Well, if you're following <laughs> these recipes that like blink you and fake you on your things on how to make it perfect, then I, I, you're not going to be able to cook like that. But if you know that you're not reaching for perfection, but with love and home cooking, which is what I'm about, you're going to be perfectly fine. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and add my soy. It's about a little bit over a cup. Ooh, look at that. You know what, I'm gonna use the whole thing here. What do we have? Eight ounces. So we're doing eight ounces of soy. 
and this is where it's gonna get fun for you, okay? You wanna add your water, and I'm adding warm water, and vinegar. Vinegar, I'm gonna put the, the measurements down below, but you guys are gonna have to make it comfortable for your home, because I know a lot of people don't like that vinegar taste. And you just wanna moisten this up until the soy meat gets hydrated. Mm, it already smells like chorizo. Mm -hmm. Oh gosh, that smells so good. Let me get a little bit more water for us, guys. Okay. I can't let these guys go to waste. Okay. There we go. You don't want to get this too um, mushy or soggy. Like, if you're going to be doing this for pork or something else, you definitely don't want to add more water. But for soy, you definitely do need a little bit more water to hydrate it. Um, because one of the things is that, like, if you make some type of a paste and make it really runny, um, then I don't think your seasonings absorb into, like, your pork or whatever um, real meat that you have going on. It doesn't absorb properly. The spices really penetrate, especially when you're doing this with your hands, like if you have the pork, just put your hands into it, okay? Got it. When I told you guys I love the soy uh, burritos with the spinach that I eat, this is the soy that I would make for my family, the soy riso. So all my info and recommendations for you guys will be in the description area. I think you guys seem to be enjoying that. You guys aren't talking back that much to me anymore. I miss you. <laughs> Talk to me, say something. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna give this a taste. Well, that's good. Oh, that's so good. For my liking, I'm gonna add a little bit of my chicken uh, bouillon and that's a good thing about the soy riso is that you can bite right into it for your tasting and with chicken and pork you probably have to cook it a little bit on your pan uh, to get through that part so what I am going to say to you guys pay attention this will be ready as soon as you mix it but with the vinegar and all the marinade if you keep it in your refrigerator for two days before you make the pork uh, the pork one it's gonna taste a lot better. Even this one, the soy one, if you leave it overnight, you're gonna be ready. Now the chicken one, you gotta do it right when you do it, okay? So when you want those street tacos, you can use this for that. You can use it for your breakfast, you can use it for your um, your Buddha bowls. And I think too for, for people that have um, a big family and you're trying to save a little bit, um, it's, it's a good meat substitute and uh, not as expensive as the proteins. Yeah, it really is. Now, if you guys are gonna talk about kids and their feeders, this is not the channel where you wanna do that because I'm gonna bite your head off and block you. Um, definitely, soy does need to be used in moderation, but if you want luscious breast, this definitely helps you. Just as much as green tea, like nobody's shading green tea. If you have green tea, that makes your, your feeders really like perky. You don't Time for some me. green tea agua yeah. fresca. Green tea agua fresca, <laughs> cucumber. Yeah, you're gonna get clear skin and perky feeders. Kids, if you're listening to that, that means when mommy used to nurse you or give you your milk, your bottle, that's what I mean. Okay, that's what we're talking about, feeders. Ah, parents, I saved you on that one. <laughs> Now, if you guys are watching as a family, like all together, I want to hear you say, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> all right, let me give it another taste to make sure I'm exactly where I want to be. If you don't want the darker uh, color, you just need to use uh, less ancho chiles, but I like that. Mmm, cloudy. Get it, girl. I'm right here. And if you make your sorry, so you don't need to have a tortilla, you can put this on, just cook it up. You can mix it with veggies, 
put it on a lettuce and do that lettuce taco. You'll be set. So what I'm gonna do, I like to put this one in a Ziploc bag. You can put it in a container, but let me show you how I put it away before I take another bite. <laughs> so good. Mm. 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 These chilies are so good. Yeah. I cannot believe how much it tastes like chorizo. Yeah, the, um, the ancho chile came out a little bit spicy on my end, so take it easy for your kids on your end, guys, okay? But this exact recipe on how I'm gonna be uh, preparing it for my family, I'll, anything that I had to adjust here, I'll tell you what I adjusted. It'll all be written for you. It's because I had measured my my bouillon because I thought I was just gonna do two cups, but I went for the whole shebang. Yeah, those burritos are gonna sell out today. Yeah, and the thing is that Bayo always asks me for um, for chorizo for breakfast. He loves that, and I kind of like to change it up for him. Everything he in moderation. Loves his he does, and he's like chorizo. <laughs> Anywhere where pumpkin can put the double R in, he'll work on it, guys. Yeah, he does that to my last name, and I, I tell him, no, sweetie, we don't need to roll the hot. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Okay, so I'm going to put them in, in two separate bags because I'm out of my, um, I'm out of my other little bags. So I'm going to put them in two separate ones or however many I need. And then you can, you can freeze some too, you guys. The soy is very forgiving. If you don't have, uh, you can't get a hold of the soy meat you can get an extra firm tofu crumble it up with your hands and add the seasonings to it because you know how it's difficult for that kind of uh, tofu to marinate and do things um, but you can do that if you guys want your if you want your soy really shiny like the store brand you need to add some oil in here i'll give you guys my recommendation in the description area but since i cooked this and i'm going to be adding the oil to it i don't want to add it to the to the blend And this one's really good because a lot of people get like, how do I cook chorizo? Because it's so easy to burn and not cook through. And I remember when I first started cooking, like when uh, Grizzly and I moved in together, I was like, oh my God, what am I gonna do? Like I wanna share my, my meal with him, but me da miedo, like I'm scared of giving him raw food. Yeah. Party upstairs. <coughs> Excuse me. And the thing is that uh, once you start making these blends, you can adjust it and make it comfortable for your home. That that really is the truth. <coughs> Excuse me. So if you like more garlic, things like that. Can you use fresh garlic? Yeah, you can, but I feel that these type of marinades always do a lot better when you're using a uh, powder uh, garlic. It absorbs it a lot better. And the garlic, like if you chop it up really fine, you can taste the flavor on the outside, but these, like the little holes that are in the soy, it absorbs in there. Mm -hmm. That's true because you can taste the flavors all the way through each bite. <coughs> Bless you. All right, Dios mio. Uh. All right, friends, that's how I make chorizo. If you guys like this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, I do chat a lot and I talk a lot through the recipes. And if you're interested in that, make sure to subscribe and click that bell right after for notifications. Because I know a lot of you guys have saying like, where's my notification? So they're getting lost, but you can keep it in your Ziploc. Just take out whatever you're gonna be using for your sorizo. And the thing about the soy riso is that it cooks like this. So within four minutes, it gets warmed up with whatever you're cooking and you're set. If you guys have a difficult time and have no idea, I'll do another one, another video for you guys to just using soy riso so and um yeah i'm gonna let these set overnight for me um i want to thank you guys so much for joining for all your lovely requests i'm having a really good time with you guys and i'll see you guys on the next one bye adios wait don't forget to read all the information in the description area for you okay i'll leave you more tips now yeah i'm i'm excited for you guys to make your own so i know a lot of you guys are going to be happy because you've been waiting for this one so yeah i'll see you guys on the next one